ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಆನ್ ವುಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೊಲಾಬರೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಕ್ಮಹಾದೇವಿ ವುಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ವಿಜಯಪುರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ಟು ಬಿಗಿನ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಇನ್ವೋಕೇಶನ್ ಸೊ I request Raj Shekhar to play the invocation song. thank you sir now i request dr rajkumar mali patil chairman department of physical education and sports science karnataka state akmahadev women's university to throw light on the webinar a uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen a very warm welcome to all respected chief guest honorable vice chancellor of women university professor tulsi mala madam ji respected register professor r sonan madam ji respected ramesh k s sir ji and professor vijay korshetty finance officer of university uh, distinguished speaker professor usha tiwari madam ji and dear colleagues this is dr rashkumar mali patil i will be the moderating today uh, webinars uh, today director of sports women university it uh, takes immense pleasure to organize one day national webinar which intend to bring awareness and transfer the knowledge about the women lifestyle and fitness in the society especially during the pandemic situation the motto behind establishing women's university was to empower the women with the best of values and capacity to lead an independent and meaningful life there are many such events being organized which makes them capable and to face the challenges ahead independently this platform is also an attempt to transfer the enormous knowledge to women and society about fitness before we begin morning session i would like to provide some introductory remarks dear colleagues by and large health and fitness has always remained a rather neglected part of the women's lifestyles and concerns women health and fitness are two important aspect of life for women everywhere all over the globe no one can underestimate the benefit that one can gain from the eating right foods uh doing right exercise and the peace and harmony it delivers to your mind and body as we all know that women's health is crucial indicator of the quality health among the society women health has got a major impact through the covid crisis we can say covid 19 has a devastating the effect on women globally women those who are in developing poor or in marginalized communities are already suffering in the impact of covid 19 a non communicable disease are one of the major causes of death in women the parental and post dental service have been hampered due to covid the time taken the recovery from the already existing diseases in women have been slowed down there are adversely affected because of the traditions and their kind set of of families where they usually are the first one first one to end up nursing their families and being probably first victims and malnutrition women must do physical activities to keep their fitness level in power to face numerous daily life challenges managing weight maintaining proper health the obstacle to keep fit and fine includes lack of time motivations energy gender stereotyping and parenting demands while there is no quick fix for a healthy body eating nutritious foods hydrating oneself getting enough sleep and in general taking care of themselves are the best way for women to get into shape physically and mentally 
the health dimensions including such as physical social intellectual and emotional and occupation and social so there is a huge need to bring in a necessary changes to adopt a physical activity routine as it is never late to take off exercise these physical activities are vital for a good physical mental health it is also aids in improving the overall health and fitness the fitness requires from a homemaker to an entrepreneur from a mother to garden grandmothers from farming women to a celebrity women lifestyle fitness is essential we hope the speaker will persuade each one of us here to initiate and take more care of yourself because it is really a high time for all the ladies to get fitter and fine it may take time but it pays off every second invested on it a designed plan and motivations the result can be transformational over to the dr hanumanta pujar sir thank you sir thank you sir for your uh, nice yeah. words on the today's webinar topic now i request professor dm jyoti dean faculty of education and uh, director of sports of university to welcome all and to introduce the today's chief guest and speaker good morning one and all it's my great pleasure to be here in front of you to introduce the chief patron of this today's webinar professor bk tulsi mala and the resource persons dr usha tiwari here i goes with professor bk tulsi mala honorable vice chancellor of karnataka state akka mahadevi women university vijayapura professor bk tulsi mala born and brought up in the district of shimogga bhadravati for her post graduate studies and the research she completed from the university of mysore in the year 1983 to 86 soon after the completion of her phd she joined as a lecturer in the university of mysore in the year 1986 she served as a reader as a professor and as a director institute of development studies university of mysore she put on 35 years of service apart from her academic she has served the various universities of karnataka she served as the director of the center of proficiency development and placement service university of mysore she served as the chairperson and she served as the registrar of vijayanagara shri krishna devaraya university ballari and now she is serving as the vice chancellor of karnataka state akka mahadevi women university vijayapura for her credits she published n number of research papers in national and the international journals her area of specialization is economic analysis public economics and policy analysis regional and urban economics human development and gender economics and infrastructure and energy economics for her credits madam she completed five major projects from government of karnataka as well as university grant commission new delhi madam has attended n number of national and international conferences for her credit she is the resource person of union public service commission new delhi karnataka public service commission karnataka bangalore orissa public service commission bhuvaneshwar director of economics and statistics government of karnataka bangalore administrative training institute mysore abdul nazir saab institute for rural development mysore state institute for urban development mysore human resource development center university of mysore mysore police academy and so on professor bk tulsi mala she hold an academic responsibilities in the university of mysore as a chairperson uh, as a bos member as a boe member as a boe chairman and boa madam she delivered more than 50 invited lectures and inaugural and well literary addresses she is the member of national and the international level committees such as she is the member of appointment of the karnataka janapada vishwavidyalaya member selection committee labor bureau appointment upsc new delhi member selection committee teaching staff kpsc bangalore member dsert and syllabus revision committee government of karnataka bangalore life member of karnataka economics association life member of indian economic association apart from her actively involved in the academic activities 
Madam, she has involved herself into various extension services such as creating the awareness and sensitization programs being conducted by Jilla Panchayat, involved in extension activities of NGOs, sensitization program relating to value-based spiritual education, research activities, remedial coaching and the counseling, rural development schemes and educational societies and so on. Our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Madam Professor B.K. Tulsimala, she received an honor. She is the recipient of Mother Teresa Excellence National Award in the year 2005. By giving this brief introduction of our Professor B.K. Tulsimala, the chief patron of this national webinar, I welcome you all, Madam. Now, it's my pleasure to give a brief introduction of our today's resource person, Dr. Usha Tiwari. She born and brought up in the state of Rajasthan, city of Jodhpur. As she is the daughter of Indian Air Force and she belongs to Indian Air Force family. Being with her father, she traveled across the India and she completed her schooling from Kendri Vidyalaya Sangatan across the India. She completed her graduation, that is a Bachelor of Physical Education from Jivaji University and in the year 1996, she completed her master's from the Lakshimbai National Institute of Physical Education, Gwalior. Soon after the completion of her post-graduation, she has been served as the Jawahar Navodaya School in Bhopal. Madam, she served as the lecturer in the Banasthali Vidyapit, the world's largest residential women universities from the year 1997 to 2020. Madam, under her leadership, she has created n number of national and international level of hockey players and she is the main selector of Rajasthan Hockey Association. Dr. Usha Tiwari, she is working in the capacity of the associate professor in the Department of Physical Education, School of Education at Central University, South Bihar, Gaya. She has received, she completed Excuse me. Huh. Madam, she has delivered more than hundreds of lectures and trained the coaching and having the rich experience in the research. She has delivered more than dozen of invited lectures, talks in various institutions and her publication bear Google Scholar Citations H Index. She has published four books and she is the member and awarded under her guidance 15 PhD scholars. Madam, she is the actively participates in coaching and training and giving the physical education to the students of North India. Presently, she, she is working in the Central University of Gaya. I, on behalf of Karnataka State Akamadi Women's University, on behalf of Directorate of Sports and on behalf of the Department of Physical Education, I welcome you, Madam. Over to Dr. Hanmanteya Pujari. Thank you, sir, for your nice introduction and a warm welcome to the today's chief guest and speaker. Now I request our beloved Honorable Vice Chancellor, Madam Professor B.K. Tulsimala, to speak few words on this inauguration national webinar. Madam, to you. Murnadagi Yalargo Namaskara. Ido national webinar Agi Rodrinda. Nana Kalavu Vishagal, my English Nalinano, Prastapa Mada the Ketamela and Matina Korta Idene. A very good morning to you all. Uh, first of all, my hearty congratulations to uh, the entire uh, team who have organized this wonderful uh, webinar on a very relevant and uh, very interesting women's lifestyle and fitness. Um, keynote speaker, Professor Usha Tiwari. Uh, distinguished participants, my esteemed colleagues from the university and all the invitees. So nowadays women, they are playing a very decisive role in all segments of the society. In a knowledge society, women are also playing a very crucial role. In some sectors, they are also driving the entire process of development <clears throat> to sustain their role and also 
to further augment their crucial participation in the process of development, uh, enhancing their capabilities, competencies, skills, efficiency, all these factors were absolutely necessary. Under these circumstances, her fitness, her wellness, her health, all these factors, they become a priority. However, when we take a meticulous look at the situation, we can notice gender gaps with respect to health status, with respect to fitness, and also with respect to wellness. Even the health-seeking behavior of women is different from the health-seeking behavior of men. And this health-seeking behavior of women, it is having very interesting implications for their fitness and also wellness and further the ongoing socio-economic changes they have also brought some voluntary and involuntary changes in the lifestyles of women under these circumstances so we have to articulate we have to leverage the key linkages between women's participation in the process of development and, and also and also her fitness and wellness. As we know, women, they are not at all a homogeneous group. Women, they constitute a heterogeneous group. When we look at women and girls, it becomes very clear that their economic and social status, their considerations, they play a very important role. It takes us to the next question. Then what are the determinants of women's fitness or girls' fitness? A number of factors, a wide ranging factors, they determine their fitness. To quote a few, number one, their physical, mental, and also emotional health, and also their approach towards their fitness, towards their health, and also their approach towards diet, nutrition and also environment and also their approach to other physical activities and also work pressure stress modern lifestyle and also their approach towards acquisition of skills in order to perform physical activity even genetics hereditary factors also play an important role in determining their fitness and also wellness and we know this fitness and wellness, it is a lifelong process. So these determinants, they clearly explain that our fitness and wellness, it is a product of many factors and many activities that we undertake in our day-to-day -day life. After the emergence of this pandemic, so the health status, the fitness of women, it has become a crucial factor due to the uh, uh, ongoing consequences due to the adverse implications of pandemic, access of women to healthcare, and also increasing burden, work burden in the workplace as well as at home, and also the declining economic status, the ongoing changes in employment market and such other things, they have very serious adverse implications for their fitness and also health under these circumstances. So, as women's university, it is our primary concern to look into the factors that influence and also that determine women's fitness and also their wellness. Under these circumstances, this type of webinar is a wonderful opportunity to look into the causes, consequences and also approaches to improve their wellness. So in this context, I would like to congratulate once again the Directorate of Sports for this very timely initiative. And I am very sure that our today's resource person, Professor Usha Tiwari, she will throw light on all these aspects and provide some wonderful insights in order to articulate our strategies to enhance women's fitness and wellness. So with these few opening remarks, I wish all the very best and I am sure that the proceedings of this webinar, so they will provide very interesting insights in order to formulate our strategies for the days to come. I wish all the very best and have a great day. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, madam.
thank you so much for your uh, inaugural speech and uh, nice words it is time to listen to our today's key speaker professor usha tiwari i request the participants before starting the session if you have any queries and questions please drop the message in uh, youtube comment box and now i am requesting once again professor usha tiwari madam please deliver your session thank you sir thank you so much uh, i'm really I'm honored, honored. to listen to myself am i audible yeah okay uh, yes ma'am it is audible first of all i would like to thanks honorable vice chancellor professor b k tulsi mala of the karnataka state akka mahadevi women university vijayapura for giving me this opportunity i am also thankful to the registrar of the university professor k ramesh and professor sunandan ma finance officer professor v b korishetty convener dr r malli patil director of sports and dean professor d m jyoti and assistant director dr vishwanath m nadakaddi i am really honored to have this platform to share my views on today's topic women lifestyle and fitness uh, let me share my presentation is it visible yeah not at me is the presentation visible no ma'am it is not visible okay madam you share your ppt is it visible now uh, madam just, just a minute it's ah uh, yes madam it's visible okay so my dear friends this is my topic women lifestyle and fitness so let's have a look on the topic it is women women a word which holds men in it it is a saying that when we educate a men it is the education of the men only but when we educate a women it is the education of the women the family the society and ultimately the progress of the nation same goes with the fitness when a man work for his fitness he is doing workout for himself only but when a woman work for his fitness when she take care of her health and fitness she is taking care of the health of the family she is taking care of the health of the society and ultimately adding to the positive health of the nation dear friends it is very important for women to keep herself healthy if her health is on stake if her fitness is on stake the fitness of the society the nation is also going to be in the state so dear friends uh, according to cdc center for disease control and prevention let us know what fitness is it is the ability to carry out daily tasks with vigor and alertness without undue fatigue and with ample energy to enjoy leisure pursuits and response to emergencies we women of the society we are very well uh, responding to the daily task we are rep reporting to the uh, response to the emergencies but what we are lacking we will discuss later on we women live for our loved ones we always take care of the family as a daughter as a mother as a wife as a, a caregiver of the family and during this process of giving love to our loved ones we ignore our own health our own fitness so my dear friends the time has changed you have to take care of our, yourself because traditionally the role of women was to cook clean raise children and looked upon as a caregiver or home keeper of the family they were not allowed to move outside the family to take care of the outside work but now the scenario has changed now they are uh, they are made uh, they are making mark in every field be it literature 
arts, politics, sports, corporate, or any other sphere, women are ready to take up challenges. Earlier, the fitness of the women were taken care by doing the household work like washing, cleaning, cooking, grinding. But now, because of the lifestyle, everything has changed. Now, the only fitness work we people are doing is using the remote control to manage our gadgets, modern gadgets. Dear friends, the dietary habits, the livelihood is also changed. We used to have in olden days pure vegetables, fruits. The time of everything was fixed. We used to sit and eat and drink. Uh, we were not allowed to take footwears inside our room. Food was made in a clean earthenware and we used to travel by the foot. And these daily routine work was enough to take care of our fitness. But now scenario has changed. Because of the lifestyle, we are depending on junk food. We find short of time in preparing the food. There is no time for, there is no time schedule for your meal or to have the food in time. Buffet system is there. Skipping food at the cost of work, packed milk. And for traveling, there are lot many fastest ways to travel. And instead of using our body, we are simply paying off the money and enjoying the life. Of course, we are enjoying the life, but at the cost of your health. Families, the scenario of the families is also changed now. Earlier, it was joint family, which provide a large scope for communication, leading to less stress. The elderly people of the family take care of the kids. As a result, the kids were performing academically very well. But now, because of dink culture, double income, no kid. The stress in the members of nuclear family. So this is also a main reason of compromising female health. So what we have to do? Why we are talking about health and fitness? Because we are finding it difficult to have balance between work life. We all are engaged in numerous of roles. We are playing numerous of roles throughout our life. Life conflicts occur when we are unable to give many roles the required time and energy. As a result, the participation in one role makes increasingly difficult to participate in other role. So what we have to do? We have to maintain a work-life balance to enjoy our family, our friends, our health and spirit. The way we are trying to manage the work and life balance, similarly, we have to focus on finding a balance between calories intake and calories used. So to keep yourself fit, to keep yourself healthy, you need to take care of the amount of calories you are consuming, amount of calories you are using, to control your weight because the chart indicates if the calorie is more and calorie used is less, you are going to gain weight and vice versa. So it is very important to balance between calorie intake and calories used. Dear friends, now the question arises, what we should do to keep ourselves physically fit? So we have to go for physical activity. Now, what is physical activity? What should we do? Dear friends, anything that gets you moving is physical activity. Don't think that uh, to keep yourself fit, you have to go to gym. You have to take rounds of track. No, nothing like that. If you enjoy playing, actively playing with your kids, your family members, if you like to dance, go for it. If you like to swimming, go for it. If you like to go for outing with your friends, go for it. Because... Anything that gets you moving is physical activity and doing that, you are using your body. See, we all know that exercise is very important. But the thing is, we all have a big excuse of not doing it. But interestingly, the excuses which we give at the cost of our health and fitness are very funny. Like, 
I don't have enough time. I have to take care of my family. My kids' exams are nearing. The gyms are too intimidating. I'm too tired. I don't know what to do. These are simple excuses which we give to ourselves. It is we think that we are giving these excuses to other, but actually we are giving these excuses to ourselves that why I am not going for exercises to keep keeping myself fit. Dear friends, just have a look on this slide. We have 1440 minutes in a day. And if you schedule 30 of them for physical activity, your life is going to be a very healthy and fruitful. My dear friends, you have to just devote 30 minutes for yourself for the sake of your health and fitness. Now the question arises, how much exercise do I need? You need 30 minutes moderate intensity physical activity most days of the week or I can say seven days a week. Exercise is very important for your body and your mind to reduce your stress, to increase your strength, to increase your flexibility, to increase energy. My dear friends, if you want to lead a productive life, you have to lead a stress-free life. And to keep yourself stress-free, exercise is must. And that is to 30 minutes from the total of 1,440. There are different stages in women's life. I have taken three main stages, a time of choice, a stage, a time of change, and the stage, a time to live well. These are the three stages. When we talk about 20 to late 30s, it is a time of choice, a choice which a woman has to make between her career and family, a period of her marriage, a period of her pregnancy. And during this time, if she devotes 30 minutes for her exercise, she is going to lead a better life. She is going to create a very well balance between her career and her family. And she is going to enjoy her married life as well as her motherlyhood. When we talk about late 30s and late 40s, a time of change, uh, a very demanding period in the phase of female the hormonal changes because of pre-menopause. Dear friends, if you go for exercise, if you keep yourself fit and healthy, this hormonal change period, the pre-menopausal period, it will come and go without your knowing. So devote 30 minutes to enjoy this late 30s to late 40s. And this is the time late 40s to late 50s, a time to live well when you are free of all the liabilities of your life, when you are free from all the responsibilities of your life. It is the time when you can enjoy yourself. But the offense you can enjoy only when you are fit, when you are healthy. And that is possible only if you keep yourself physically fit. Otherwise, this time of your life will go in managing the chronic diseases because of the age. No matter what stage you are in, it is essential for all women to eat healthy, to be active, to manage stress and supplement wisely. So to take care of health, first thing you have to do is to eat a proper healthy diet. My suggestion, always pick a small plate because the size of the plate directly relate to the amount of calories you are consuming. Make sure that your plate is full of fruits, vegetable, grains and protein. Enjoy your food but in less quantity and make it a habit to have a dairy product daily in the form of dood, dahi, chaj or lassi. You should have it in your diet to keep yourself physically and mentally healthy. Now the question arises, what is the best exercise for me? There is not any single set pattern of exercise for everyone. The exercise you choose, you opt, depends on your body type, depends on your body need, depends on your interest and your attitude. 
if you love to swim if you love to bicycle if you love to go for running if you love to lift weights or you want to play or you want to dance that depends on you so don't think that what your friends are going you should also go for it just opt for the activity which you enjoy how much and what kind so the question is how much activity i should do we have discussed is earlier that moderate activity for 30 minutes but what kind of activity uh, there uh, there is a list of activities which you can go for 30 minute like brisk walking you can go you can go for dancing you can play with your actively play with your kids it's not that ki you should sit and play cards or chess no you have to actively play with your kids you can go for the jogging you can go for biking and in your schedule it is advisable to have weight training sessions twice in a week and a little bit of change in your lifestyle you can add to your health like taking the stairs instead of lift or elevators parking your bikes far away getting off the bus a few steps early stops early gardening taking fitness break at the walk so these are the things which you can add in your daily life to keep yourself fit and healthy few secret tips i will share that if you want to keep yourself fit you can lift weight in the form of squats lunges deadlifts bench press pull ups and when you are comfortable with the weights try to slowly increase the weight you lift gradually to aid your health and fitness the second one is cardio cardio is very effective for maximizing fat loss so if you want to reduce fat from your body you should go for cardio training and it can be done in the form of running hills boxing body weight exercises run and walk repeat go hard rest and repeat see repetition is very much important if you want to lose your fat then the tip number 3 is the list of uh, this is the list of aerobic activities and you can choose from this the type and the taste according to your need like running jogging walking dancing jump rope aerobic strength circuit training aerobic gym exercises swimming is there bike cycle is there cardiac dance classes are there cardiac kickboxing is there indoor cycling classes is there so these are few list you can add you can make your own list and you can devote 30 minutes two to three times a week to keep yourself aerobically fit next step is eat protein protein is very much needed for the development of your lean muscle tissues to recover from the training which you are going through and this will give you a toned look and you will get protein from fish meat egg and for vegetarians you can get it from the dairy products beans peas ground nuts broccoli spinach and sattu next in the list is plant based carbs don't go for um, without carbohydrate food you should add carbohydrates in your food but it should be plant based in the form of vegetables fruits and legumes to optimize your health and this is what uh, slide which everyone will say that no we should not go for fat my dear friend omega 3 fat is very much needed for your optimal health because most women are chronically deficient in this nutrient because when we they uh, go for fitness work when we go for uh, reducing the fat from the body we do first thing is to skip fat from our diet you should have fat in minimum amount in the form of fish oil flaxseed oil ground flaxseed or linseed we can say to support our internal delicate organs so please add some amount of fat in your diet no zero fat diet you should be consuming women and stress because the the present scenario of the pandemic because of this uh, situation women are always in fact everyone is in stress but the female member of the society is more stressful in taking care of their family taking care of their job and the uh, latest research indicates that women are more affected by stress than compared to men 
Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, estimated that 75 to 90 percent of doctor visits are stress related. So what you have to do to be physically fit, you have to delete stress from your life. Remember the first slide, which I have discussed about the definition of fitness. The first two things we are doing, we are able to manage. But the thing, the last uh, aspect of the fitness was to having ample time to enjoy the leisure. This is the uh, aspect which we women normally neglect. When we are not able to enjoy our life, when we are not giving time to ourselves to enjoy our life, that is going to lead to stress. And stress, if it is there in your body, then it is going to affect your health. Just have a look. Stress gift is the gift of modern lifestyle, main cause of poor health and fitness. So you have to work on your stress. When you take care of your stress, it will indirectly taking care of your health and fitness dear friends this life is so demanding that it is just impossible for anyone to be out of stress the only person without stress is a dead person yes it is true the anyone who is breathing anyone who is alive let be, let it be a newborn baby let, be, uh, let it be a, a baby in the mother's womb. Let it be the president of the nation. Everyone is facing a stress of its own kind of their own nature. So my dear friends, you cannot make yourself stress free. But the thing you can do is to manage stress. So your fitness, your health, your mood, your life expectancy is based on how well you are treating yourself in terms of stress. Uh, you all know what is diamond. Diamond, it is just a piece of charcoal which has managed or handled stress extremely well. So if you are able to manage your stress, you are going to become or you are going to come out as a diamond. So try to make yourself diamond because you are the center of your family. Time constraint is the biggest issue of today's life. The second word which we come across from the individual is I am running short of time. My dear friend, the best time to relax is when you don't have time for it. So whenever you say that I am too much busy, I don't have time for myself, then it is my suggestion to keep down your pen, to keep down your watch and give time to yourself because it is an alarm. It is a signal which your body is giving to you to fight stress, to take over the stress. This is the best slide which I like the most, stress. What we women are doing, we are always in competition to ourselves. We want to prove ourselves the best. We want to become super, men, super women. We want to become super mom, super daughter, super wife, super mother. And during the process of becoming super mother, daughter, wife, we just ignore to become a super personality or to take care of ourselves. Because what we do, we try to manage everything single-handedly. Please, please decentralize your stress. Stress is because you try to repair every situation solo. Don't try to become super women. Try to share the responsibility. Try to share the duties. Try to share the household work to give time to yourself to make yourself stress free. Common causes of stress among students. Students are facing numerous type of stress, numerous demands because of this pandemic. They are not going to the school. Uh, and because of absence of school attendance, they are not interacting with their friends. They are confined to their houses. They are confined to their TVs, their mobiles. And ultimately, they are compromising with their health. 
and same is the case of the member of the family women of the family so the students are facing academic uh, stresses dating problems environmental extracurricular workload time management parental pressure poor sleeping habit financial stress and all the competition numerous long list is there because uh, of the stress and many life stresses are also there like the death of the loved ones divorce loss of a job traumatic events such as natural disaster theft rape violence against you or your loved ones you are getting married you are in stress whether you are able to manage uh, get adjustment with the family or with your husband increase in the financial obligation emotional problems such as depression anxiety anger grief guilt taking care of elderly or sick family member these are the causes of stress and it is the things which we cannot overlook we cannot uh, just avoid it we have to deal with these situations and these uh, dealing with this situation cause cause uh, stress in your life and as a result it has effect on your health when you have a sign of headache fatigue difficulty in sleeping difficulty in concentrating upset stomach irritability my dear friends if you are frequently coming across with these problems it is a signal that your body is in stress for a short period of time so what you have to do you have to manage your stress you have to manage your lifestyle you have to manage your routine to overcome these signals which are the initial signals of your stress but if you avoid this initial signals you are going to face the serious health issues because of stress like depression high blood pressure upset stomach constipation diarrhea heartburn ulcer irritable bowel syndrome heart attack hardening of the arteries abnormal heartbeat weight gain weight loss change in the sex drive fertility problem asthma skin problem psoriasis so dear friends just to avoid this you have to avoid stress and to avoid stress you have to go for physical activities you have to take care of your health so now how to manage stress to keep yourself healthy to keep yourself fit so you have to make a change in your lifestyle when you will uh, make change in your lifestyle you will be able to manage stress and when you are in position to manage stress your life productivity will be increased so i have taken three tips to manage stress one is yoga second one is stress relieving diet change in your diet can also helps in managing stress and there are certain acupressure points in our body which can be manipulated to release stress so let's go to first one from the yoga that is pranayama anulom vilom and kapalbhati number of pranayamas are there but i have taken only these two because they are directly related to your stress so whenever you find yourself in stress it is my advice to go for anulom vilom uh, for performing this you have to sit comfortable in sukhasan or um, padmasan position and with your right thumb block your right nostril and inhale from your left nostril for 2 seconds then after inhaling for 2 seconds hold your breath for 4 seconds and then exhale from the right nostril and block the left nostril and continue this process from the inhaling from the right for 2 seconds holding for 4 seconds then again exhaling from the left nostril and this one complete right and left nostril movement makes a one circle and this you have to perform 10 times this is very effective in balancing the energy flow through your ida and pigla nadis in terms it stimulates the central channel called shushmana nadi 
which helps in eliminating the free radicals and toxins from the ida and pingla that is sura nadi and chandra nadi and helps to restore a balance between the two hemisphere of the brain and helps in purifying the entire nervous system healing and bringing about mental calm peace and tranquility so dear friends performing anulom vilom 10 rounds a day you are going to make yourself calm peaceful and healthy the second one is in the list is kapal bhati that is forceful exhaling it is the pranayam which can be performed sitting in uh, any comfortable relaxed position let it be sukhna sukhasan padmasan keep your hands on your knees and forcefully exhale while exhaling your focus should be bringing the navel close to your spine so pushing your abdomen inside and this can be performed till you are comfortable in performing that and this kapal bhati forceful exhalation is very much important because it aids in your metabolic rate as a result it is very effective in losing weight so if you want to keep yourself uh, fit you want to weight uh, lose your weight it is advisable for go for kapal bhati start it for 5 uh, minutes then go to 10 minutes then uh, you can go up to 30 minutes if you feel comfortable it is very important in uh, the stimulation of abdominal organs and useful for the diabetic patient it clears the nadi it for uh, your energy it calms and uplifts the mind it trim down your belly and it energize your nervous system and rejuvenate your brain cell so my dear friends in yog you can go for pranayama that is um, anulom vilom and kapal bhati to keep yourself stress free and to lose your body fat now we are having few asanas which are very effective in fighting against stress this one is garud pose or garudasan we can say it eagle pose uh, this can be performed by anyone but the individuals who have a knee problem elbow injury ankle or wrist injury it is contraindicated for them so you should avoid using this but whenever you find yourself in stress just perform three rounds of garudasan hold it just take the po final pose of the uh, final pose maintain and hold then relax then again repeat it for three times for your stress to fight your stress then second one is uttanasan or we can say it forward bending this is very effective because when you bend forward the circulation of blood goes towards your brain and as a result it is very effective in making your uh, free fresh and uh, releasing your uh, tension and depression but if you have a problem in your back your hams if you are facing a hamstring injury glaucoma eye problem or high blood pressure uh, it is not as advisable for uh, performing this asana the next one in the list is child pose or balasan very effective to release your stress your tension to make yourself calm and children normally used to sleep in this uh, pose so you can go for this also relax for 5 to 10 minutes all your tension will ease but if you have a problem in your back knee injury or you are a pregnant lady please avoid pressing your stomach then thunder bolt pose vajrasan the only asana which can be performed after having your meal uh, this is a very effective asana but please try to avoid doing this if you have your problem in knee or ankle hernia or calf injury and arthritis of the knee and the last one in the list is supt buddh konasana uh, this is very effective to keep yourself mentally stress free to keep uh, make you relaxed but if you are not able to touch your knees to the ground you can take help of any uh, prop or any pillow or any bolster uh, uh, make the support of your knee and try to perform this for 10 to 15 minutes try if you are able to sleep in this pose you can go to sleep as well but if you have a problem of ankle knee neck or hip injury or sciatica low back pain avoid doing this asana then 
So uh, the next in the list is diet. What diet should I follow to keep myself stress free in this lifestyle, life situation of pandemic and to keep myself healthy? I will suggest the stress diet for the breakfast, lunch, afternoon and dinner. Start your day with a grapefruit. Any citrus fruit, a roti, a single roti, uh, one slice of uh, toast or dahlia a glass of non fat milk handful of cashew nuts and almonds to keep you energized throughout the day to fight against the stress in lunch you can have dal chawal with one spoon of ghee ghee is must to help in the digestion of dal steamed spinach or broccoli try to increase the use of garlic and turmeric in your food and curd is the stress easer diet so try to consume curd in lunch afternoon snacks can be taken uh, as green tea cocktail and coffee and in dinner you can end up with two chapati seasonal veggies paneer ghee egg and milk other than this uh, this is a stress diet but other than this these are few things which you should incorporate in your diet you should add in your diet to fight against stress to keep yourself healthy add omega-3 rich food in your plate to for the cognitive well-being and to reducing inflammations uh, which is easily available in fatty fish like salmon walnuts chai seeds flex seeds and power uh, 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 these are very much required for your body use tryptophan rich food which is uh, helpful in regulating your mood available in egg, soya and soya products. Bananas and dark chocolates are very rich in tryptophan. So you can have that also. Try to add zinc in your food in the form of walnuts, in the form of pumpkin seed, in the form of nuts, cashew nuts, almonds to enhance your mood. Magnesium is important for your uh, body to reduce the blood pressure as well as the body pain or anti it is an anti-inflammatory and you can get it from the nuts and seeds so dear friends you can add these things to your diet to make yourself healthy turmeric is the golden spice of india and it has many medicinal values and benefits it helps in lowering the anxiety and reducing the inflammation and stress so if it is possible, try to take turmeric in any form. Uh, nowadays, in foreign countries, lato milk is very much uh, in uh, demand. The people are taking it, lato drink, that is a uh, uh, milk mixed with turmeric. Uh, green tea is the good substitution or replacement for soft drinks, coffees, and alcoholic beverage. And it acts as a mood enhancer because it contains thinning. Carbohydrate load is also another important uh, ingredient which we should add in our food to improve our mood and to reduce stress. And it can be uh, gained from sweet potatoes, whole grains, ragi, oat, uh, brown rice. But try to uh, use avoiding flour or sugar which helps or which increase the fatigue, anxiety, irritability and uh, try to use as much uh, of uh, fresh vegetables as, as possible. Calcium rich food is another key ingredient you should add in your diet to fight your stress, to reduce your depression, to enhance your mood. So probiotic like yogurt is very much in uh, demand and need today. You can have green leafy vegetables like broccoli, uh, almonds, cheese, yogurt, milk, sunflower seeds. They are rich source of calcium. So we have discussed two things. One is yolk. Second one is diet. Now we are switching to the third one that is acupressure points to relieve stress and anxiety. In our body, the numerous number of acupressure points are there. And uh, without knowing unintentionally, we used to press these points and it is uh, very much helpful in easing the stress. The first point is GB20 point, which is situated at the top of your spine, at the base of your skull, a point where the medulla oblongata is situated. So what you have to do, you have to make a cup of your hands 
and with the help of your thumb you just uh, keep your hands on your ears but try avoiding closing of ears if the gap should be there and try to push that point if it is possible you can press it for 3 to 4 second your pressing should be firm but not painful if it is not possible to press it for so long uh, so longer duration of time you can press for 10 to 10 uh, 20 seconds then release then again press then release this is the neck point which is very effective in releasing the stress doing like this it is uh, helpful in reducing anxiety insomnia uh, the eye strain because of mobile because of laptop the children are facing the women everyone is facing can be taken care by pressing this point if we, there is stiffness in your neck if you are stress you are feeling a problem of anxiety heaviness in the head or sore throat you can press this point and you can get yourself free from the stress the second in the list is shoulder point and uh, unintentionally everyone used to do simply bend your elbows hold your scapula and try to push it in the forward direction and take your neck to the backward direction try to look up or backward and push uh, pull your scapula in front and look back this is very effective in releasing the stress of your neck area your shoulder region uh, your nervous tension it decreases the stress related troubles it increases the resistance to cold and fever which is very much important in this corona pandemic the next in the list is inside elbow point a junction between the elbow joint you have to press it with your thumb then closely tightly close your fist your in, uh, finger should be closely clenched and hold it press it and then release your fingers okay and then again press it hold it maintain and then release you can feel the flow of uh, blood towards your uh, fingers and that is uh, going to release give you release from the distress in chest pain in the arm uneasy stomach pain in the elbow and nausea so these points are very effective this you can do you can perform anywhere uh, whenever you are attending a meeting you are traveling you are in a bus you are uh, enjoying tv you are playing with your kids you are talking with someone any time anywhere these simple acupressure points can be uh, manipulated and it is going to help in easing your stress and aiding your health four arm point a junction this point we women used to wear too many um, bangles hum bangles uh, we used to tie the holy thread and the reason is uh, reason of wearing the bangles or tying the holy thread is to press this particular point four arm point to reduce the anxiety nausea rest in the pain palpation if your heart beat is fast your stomach is upset you have motion sickness you have headache you simply have to press this point press it then release let the blood flow then again press and then release next in the list is wrist point the heel of your palm this point should be pressed if you are feeling uh, some sort of uh, fearness is there if you are uh, feeling having a feeling of insecurity if you are not secure if you are uh, having emotional stress anxiety memory loss or tension you can press this wrist point then third eye point why we used to put bindi or tilak in the forehead men used to put tilak and female used to put bindi just to press this third eye point it is very effective in healing the nervousness anxiety improving the tranquility of the body sleep disorder headache eye problem vertigo dizziness congestion in the nose so this pressing of this point with your ring finger ring finger of your left hand is to be used for pressing this point press it for 10 to 15 seconds then release but please make sure that pressing should be firm not painful then union belly point a junction between the thumb and index finger to reduce the stress nervousness in the muscle and other nerve related problems so dear friends these are the points 
in your body which you can press by yourself without the help of others when you are in condition to manage your stress with the help of yoga with the help of change in the diet with the help of the acupressure points then is the time to prepare an action plan now you know what you have to do to keep yourself fit why fitness is important what life changes you have to do now comes the action plan you have to think about it after thinking when you make yourself ready when you find yourself ready you have to prepare for action after preparing for action you have to take the action and after taking the action after following all the instructed things you have to keep on doing maintaining it for good things in your life so this is a time of change stage for change you have to follow this path to keep yourself going then comes what we are what we repeatedly do see uh, it is a normal saying ki hum uh, we go for uh, one month exercise and uh, uh, there is hardly any change in my body it takes four weeks for your uh, you to notice your body is changing eight weeks for your friends and 12 weeks for rest of the world so dear friend please give at least 12 weeks to yourself don't quit before that if you are in position to give 12 weeks to yourself then the world is going to notice the change which you are undergoing so please please have some patience and devote 30 minutes for at least 12 weeks for initial changes then now is the step to fitness what you have to do you have to write your personal fitness goal what you have to do whether you are going for 30 minutes a day uh, if you have time you can spare one hour for a day or uh, you want to go for swimming you want to go for gymming you want to go for cardiac training so you have to write your personal fitness goal and stick it in a place where you come across frequently then prepare a pre participation checklist and start moving so what you have to do you have to make a small slip that my goal is to now what you have to write write your favorite activity to swim to dance to cycle to go for aerobics training to go for gym for 30 minutes 20 minutes uh, 45 minutes 60 minutes time according to your and how many times in a week so you have to make this chart and paste it in front of you and it should be in front of your eyes so whenever you have a look on it you just remind yourself ki yes this is my fitness goal this i have to do and this is definitely going to make a change in your routine definitely going to aid a change or help in your fitness achieving your fitness goal after making this slip what you have to do you have to ask a few questions this is pre participation checklist these are few questions which you have to ask yourself and if the answer is yes of most of the question or any of the question then you have to consult your physician your doctor before going for any exercise problem the questions like do you have any heart problem uh, do you have chest pain or have you ever fainted because of dizziness or your blood pressure is too high or too low or your doctor has ever told you about your bone or joint problem or you have arthritis or you are over age or you are more than 65 years so you have to prepare a checklist this is a sample uh, which you can use or you can have a checklist from the, um, your nearby doctor and consult him if you have any of one in yes form then after preparing the checklist what you have to do now you know what you have to do create an action plan decide what you want to do your goal you want to lose 5 kg you want to lose 10 kg you want to go for cardio you want to go for uh, hill training visualize that you are achieving this goal so every day it's not required to stand on the scale give time to yourself and check your weight once in a week write it down 
even a few changes in grams you have to write changes in mood you have to write changes in your body demand you have to write changes in your routine you have to write so you have to write down everything after starting what uh, your body is undergoing include each and every detail read it often you have to make it a habit of reading it and reward yourself when you achieve your nearest goal so don't make a long uh, term goal just make a goal or target of 15 days or 5 weeks or 5 uh, days 10 days 15 days and reward yourself after uh, every uh, achievement of your goal there is my friends there is no easy way you have to work rest work and repeat so few more added tips are there few more add ons are there to have a healthy life like park the car far away from your destination take the stair instead of elevators play with your children or pets everybody let everybody win take fitness break perform gardening or home repair activities exercise while watching tv keep a pair of comfortable walking or running shoes in your car and office it is also very much needed in nowadays then drink extra water always warm up and cool down before and after you work out wear comfortable clothing pay attention to any discomfort you may feel during exercise follow your doctor's recommendations concerning medication you may be taking so i hope uh, my presentation is clear and this is going to help you so any questions related to this thank you so much thank madam you. for your wonderful session and you, in this topic you have covered all the physical education related subjects especially yoga food and nutrition exercise physiology and all the subjects uh, and once again i should thanks to you on behalf of all the participants now i request this is the discussion session now i am going to request dr rajkumar mali patil to take this session uh, uh really uh, dear delegates professor usha tiwari madam has enlightened us because madam has addressed all the uh, components and issues related to the uh, fitness and uh, wellness it speaks madam uh, uh, active involvement and rich experience uh, uh, of our profession sir because madam has started their uh, 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 presentations uh, from the concept of uh, fitness how fitness is going to be determines how the factors is going to be play important role in the maintaining your uh, balance and your activities and how much intensive of activities is required for the maintain your ba balance and your fitness all the micro level aspect have been covered by the uh, usha madam so this was a wonderful session madam really we have received n number of appreciation from the delegates parts because uh, really we must thanks to the uh, professor dm jyoti because he has chosen very eminent professor for uh, to, uh, to address the, uh, these topics really we are uh, uh, thankful you madam now uh, actually few question is here madam actually all the have been uh, addressed but uh, before sessions uh, the st some students they have put some questions so, later on you have explain all the questions anyway but uh, to satisfy and to listen uh, uh, the answer from your side i would like to uh, put the questions madam the first there is a question uh, is there any uh, special community based uh, uh, program will be there for the fitness it means uh, uh, other community different community people will be coming from the, uh, different uh, uh, lifestyle madam is there any special uh, package is there for example the uh, tribal community will be there so how can you suggest uh, the different program to maintain the fitness because See, uh, 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 yeah, it is a very very good question uh, but uh, i can uh, try to I, i will i just want to modify it a bit instead of uh, keeping it confined to a particular community we can yeah. say that the fitness for an individual in my lecture i have added that fitness is an individual goal a person who belongs to a particular community it's not 
necessary that every individual in that particular community is going to follow the same fitness regime or same fitness schedule because maybe uh, there is a difference in their socio economic status there is a difference between their social life their way of living so it is fitness is an individual affair if you belong to a particular community that definitely is going to play an important role but fitness is an individual affair so you have to take care of your body the demand of your body if you are fa uh, fatty your exercise schedule should be different if you are lean and thin your exercise schedule should be different if you are pregnant if you are having a problem of arthritis if you are having a problem of diabetic so fitness is not confined to any group of community it is on the basis of the demand of the individual's body yes sir very good sir so my second question is how can we uh, reduce the stress because you already gone uh, yeah i have given yes, yes i have given uh, beginning madam I just uh, addressed okay uh, yes uh, madam the, the one more question from the our yoga teachers actually he, he would like to know because this uh, modern technology how made a stress is it uh, uh, pros or cons he want to uh, seek the answer um, <laughs> a very 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 uh, much important question in demand and this is a question from every single individual of the society the modern lifestyle the modern technology my dear friends the modern technology is there the doctors are working the industry is working to produce the injections for this corona but what we are doing we physical educators we yoga teachers what we are doing we are providing them the ways to bring a change in their lifestyle see it is the injection are external the technology is external but if you want to be fit if you want to contribute to the society you have to work on yourself and that should be with the help of that is possible only because of yoga and fitness now no gym it, during pandemic every gym was closed uh, stadiums were closed all the fitness centers were closed but it was advised to go for physical activity it was advised to go for yogasana so your job is increasing because of this pandemic yes ma'am thank you madam madam another question is uh, is there any specific uh, asanas to improve the leaner mu muscles to lean muscles yes many yeah. asanas are there see uh, see yeah. you can go for uh, this mountain pose you can go for bhujangasan so the combination of mountain pose and bhujangasan that is um, um uh, that is going to have effect on your abdomen your uh, fat on your butt your thigh so if you go for surya namaskar surya namaskar is a complete asana in itself for maintaining your body in a balanced shape so bhujangasan can be performed dhanurasan can be performed nokasan is one more activity uttan padasana is there so a list of long asanas are there to have reduce body weight or fat and another question madam how mudras is going to be i uh, affect to to maintain your health yes mudras. very good question see uh, there is a specific uh, have you ever seen uh, this um, Mm. north indian people using tambaku they used to chew tobacco and before chewing that what they used to do they used to rub like this right yeah. they used to do like this rub like this and in uh, while doing or while rubbing what they are doing they are simply pressing the pressure points normally uh, it is uh, saying that jab tak hum tambaku nahi khate hum fresh nahi ho pate it's very difficult uh, to um, Uh, have a proper uh, morning activity without the use of tambaku but tambaku is playing its role along with the pressing of this palm this area so when we perform mudra we press let it be this surya mudra vayu mudra varun mudra or this mudra so we are pressing the points 
and blocking the nadis the ida nadi pigla nadi the nadis which we need is used and the other one is blocked so it is very much effective in improving our mental health and releasing the stress yes mudras plays definitely plays a very important role yes madam thank you madam i think uh, most of the questions is over madam now thank it, you so much uh, it is time to over to dr mantha pujar sir thank you sir thank you so much for your uh, interaction with the many questions it is a time to appreciate the efforts of all those who are uh, made this uh, mega event to grand success to do the honor i request Srimati Ashwini K N to propose a vote of thanks. Madam, hand over to you. Thank you, sir. A very good good afternoon to one and all. It gives me an immense pleasure to propose vote of thanks on the occasion of national webinar on women's lifestyle and fitness organized by Directorate of Sports, Karnataka State Akkamahadevi Women's University, Vijayapura. First of all. I thank Dr. Usha Tiwari, Department of Physical Education, Central University, South Bihar, Gaya, for being wonderful resource person on women lifestyle and fitness. On behalf of Directorate of Sports, Karnataka State Akamhadevi Women's University, Vijayapura. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for being with us. Secondly, I am very much thankful to our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor B K Tulasi Mala, madam, for being with us and for your support. Thank you, ma'am. Now I would like to offer my thanks to Professor R Sunandamma, ma'am, Registrar, Karnataka State Akamahadevi Women's University, Vijayapura, for the continuous support. Thank you, madam, for being with us. I also extend my thanks to Professor Ramesh K, Registrar Evaluation, Professor Vijaya Korishetty, madam, Finance Officer, Professor D M Jyoti, Director of Sports, and Dean Faculty of Education. Education, Dr. Rajkumar Patil, Chairman, Department of Physical Education and Sport, Secretary of this webinar, deans of the university, chairmen of different departments, and the faculties of Karnataka State Women's University, Vijayapura, for being with us. Thank you, one and all. Last but not least, I am thankful to all who have directly and indirectly supported to the national webinar for the grand success. Thank you, one and all. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Over to you, Dr. Hanumanta. Yes, sir. Thank you, madam. Now I request the participants for your certificate regard. You need to fulfill the feedback form, and you will get the your certificates. Uh, it is limited to uh, daily hundred certificates. We will give. Uh, don't go for the fa panic for the uh, not uh, getting the certificates. The next day we will provide that uh, certificates again. So, thank you all for the your gracious presence. And active participation in this national webinar. Thank you, Madam. Madam, one now, Madam, one more submission is there. Madam, all the participants there would like to share your PPT. Okay, I'll share it to Doctor uh, Professor Jyoti. Yeah, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you, Madam. Now I request all the participants and, uh, and uh, those who are here. Uh, uh, in coming days, in coming days our, Indian our Indian team, team will participate in the Tokyo, Tokyo Olympics. Olympics. For that reason, for that reason we want to we want cheer our cheer team, our team for the for best the and better best performance. And performance. Central Bank Bursa Lena. Video Bursa, Video Bursa. Okay. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, madam. Thank you very much, madam.